whatever it is the name of your family i'm praying for your family and your individual family whatever that is it is that you are to all of you strewn all over you are my you are the family i'm praying for uh, you are my family and you are my friends you are my children you are my everything and my good friends heavenly father i dedicate this family to you from this day on i disassociate them from all affiliations from all affiliations with anything that is contrary to your will i break all evil affiliations from previous generations I break altars erected to other gods in the past generations from their maternal and paternal side. This is your family, Lord. This generation going forward in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I break any covenant made in their bloodline with any god but you, dear Father. And we stand against generational curses. We call our families blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you would grant vision to the fathers, to mothers, and to the rest of the family. Pour vision into them for such a time like this. We come against all forms of stagnancy. We speak progression into all that they do in Jesus' name. My prayer for this family is to raise children the way that you would want them raised, O oh Lord. We come against all forms of earthly wisdom, the wisdom that is sensual and demonic. Give parents divine wisdom to raise their children your way, O oh Lord. Father, we pray for the children. We come against any hindrance, anything that would stand in the way of them coming to you. Father, we pray that you'd preserve our children, preserve their faith, maintain their purity in the impure world. We come against all snares of the enemy, set to trap them, surround them, dear Father, with good leadership and counsel. Lord, we bring mothers into your hands right now. We pray that you would give them the strength to endure day by day challenges. May your strength be made perfect in their weaknesses. Father, we pray that as the world continues to evolve, you would prepare them to be relevant and geared mothers for such a time like this. May they never feel inadequate Teach them, O oh Father, to lean on you and never on their own understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you would raise up fathers in this fatherless generation. May their hearts be called back to their children. Raise more and more men to stand in the gap left by absent fathers. We pray for wisdom for the fathers as they lead and humility as they may be led by you in all that they do in the mighty name of Jesus our Savior. Dear Lord, we ask you that you would equip the elderly generation, give them boldness to speak into the lives of the younger ones. Give them the wisdom to do it right. Father, we speak against the feeling of inadequacy or irrelevance. Give them platforms to speak and ears to listen in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for the preservation of their mental health. We come against diseases of the elderly. Preserve them in Jesus' name. We come against all diseases like dementia. Give them sound minds in Jesus' name. We pray for companionship as they grow older. In Jesus' name, we start against loneliness. Give them peace and joy all the days of their lives. 
for this family, dear father, I decree that the powers that stopped their parents will not be able to stop them in Jesus' name. I declare by the, by the grace of God that they shall win their battles in Jesus' name. Because they are born of God, they shall overcome the world and every battle in it in the mighty name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I blot out every evil family record that may be speaking against them. Like Joseph, may they receive their anointing to terminate generational battles. Like Jephthah, may they receive the grace to rewrite our, their family history positively. Like David, use them, dear Father, to kill the Goliath that their seniors could not kill. Father, empower them to defeat the forces that defeated their parents. Lord, give them the power to win the battles their parents could not win. Because they are the seeds of Abraham, they shall always possess the gate of their enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. And I command every unfinished parental battle to terminate in their life in Jesus' name. I decree that these battles will not be transferred to their own children in Jesus' name. Father, I petition against every unfinished and transferred battle from their parents. Let the battles and the forces responsible for them depart from them right now in Jesus' name. Lord our Father, I call on you this night. You delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the burning furnace through your divine intervention, O God. I call on you this night, just like those three men called on you in times past, Answer us speedily and deliver these your children from the wicked curses that the evil ones might have placed on them. From today onwards, I declare that they lose their hold over this family. O oh God in heaven, we ask for your help for this family. And even those who were not able to participate in this 40 days journey. Grant them prosperity and victory over all their sicknesses and diseases. Whatever ancestral cause that the enemy may have laid on these families, dear father, presenting them from soaring high financially, break them in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our businesses th from thriving, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our children from getting life partners, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our wives from getting children, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our men from progressing, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our women from progressing, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our children from living long, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our children from getting out of addictions, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop our children from settling in their marriages, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop us from enjoying good health, we stop you in Jesus' name. Powers assigned to stop members of these families from enjoying longevity of life, we stop you in Jesus' name. And I decree by the decree of heaven, these families shall not mourn anymore in this year or the years to come in the mighty name of Jesus. The death that sorrowed their family members, especially those who died in dubious circumstances and died young, will not locate these children in Jesus' name. And I apply the blood of Jesus to break the power of untimely death hovering over these families in Jesus' name. Every angry altar of the father's house, of mother's house, crying against this, day, this night and day of deliverance, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Anything responsible for death in their families disappear completely in the mighty name of Jesus. Every messenger of death operating in their family's line be completely annihilated in the mighty name of Jesus. Every yoke of untimely death present in this family be destroyed in Jesus' name. If there was anything done or said in the days of our forefathers that may be affecting these families negatively, we break it tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh Lord, close the entrance door of affliction, pain, tears, and misery, 
and the exit door of blessings in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy, whether the enemy likes it or not, these families shall not die. But we will live to declare the works of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. This day of deliverance, dear Father, we pray for every mother. We pray for every dad that you may equip them with the relevant strength, dear Father, and the wisdom to speak blessings to their children, to speak hope to their children, dear Father. Even those who have been staring at their families with a lot of hopelessness, dear Father, this night, give them hope. Remind them, dear Father, that your son came to deliver all of us, dear Father, to those who have been burying family members every now and then this night, dear Father, we remind them that Jesus who stopped the funeral procession in the time of Nain is the same Jesus who wants to, to speak, to stop the funeral processions in their families, dear Father. And we call every enemy, every force that is affecting the families from progressing. Tonight, we declare you null and void. We declare you defeated in the mighty name of Jesus. May our families be delivered. May this night be a new beginning. May this night be a night of deliverance for all our families, dear Father. May they see you touching every area that, are, that the enemy ha may have destroyed. And they may stand and sing and jubilate because you are the God of deliverance. You are the God of the good things. May you give them all the good things. We pray for our children, dear Father. May they become better generationally than their parents. May we raise and leave before us children who are not beggars, children who are not sickly, children who are not poor, children who are not hopeless. May we leave behind us children who are stronger and hopeful generationally than we are in the mighty name of Jesus. And may the Almighty God bless each one of us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear good people, I thank you for participating in the 40 days of deliverance, the novena for 40 days. I thank you for believing that it is true that uh, through our prayers, God is going to bring deliverance in our families. He's going to bring healing in our families. Should there be anything in your faith that you promised that you will do for this journey, I call upon you to do that in faith. <laughs>